Hi everyone. In Dialux Evo 9.2, we have revised some central elements and added a feature that will help you in your everyday work with the documentation. We are excited to introduce you to the new image tool. As of now, you can edit an image in the documentation simply by clicking on the respective motive or placeholder. This workflow is more straightforward than using the option configure page next to the output formats. Once the image tool has opened, you are presented with a variety of different options. Import an image directly from your file system either by using the button Import Images or by using the drag and drop function. You can also add images from your clipboard. Under the action Import Images, you will find five buttons. By selecting the corresponding button, you will be shown either all images, views created with dialogues, imported images, ray tracings or automatically generated views. The last point is especially interesting. As of now, Dialux offers you the possibility to use suggested views that are created by the software itself. Set the desired image section and select Apply. If you want to add multiple images to your documentation, you can do this on specific pages as well. Select the respective images page and add the desired motives to it. Arrange them according to your needs and add a name and a description if you want to. Select Apply and you are done. Here are a few more improvements. Descriptions as well as the names of rooms, areas, floors, buildings and terrain can now be entered directly via the page settings in the documentation mode. In addition to that, the navigation path for the location can now be set by the user if required. Finally, it is now possible to save ray tracings in the following resolutions. Download Dialux Evo 9.2 now and start planning!